So, my first video here, and we're already about to trigger an entire community. This is my life now. Let's start with a glitchy piece of tatty string known as paladins, since that's the actual meaning of this video. Clickbaited nerds! Now, I want to make it very clear. I like both games. In fact, Overwatch was a staple on my second channel, and I used to play it quite a bit. Paladins I did get recently, however, so I haven't played it as much as some other people. So, I'm going to be talking about it whether you like it or not. I mean, I can clearly talk about it considering you are watching this video right now. That means you lose. Now that I've cleared up my quote-unquote opinion on both games, you'll probably wonder if I like them so much, then what's wrong with them? You weren't? Well, I don't care. I'm telling you anyways. The obvious thing that you have to mention is Paladins run so bad, it's worse than you in gym, because we all know that you are alone in your room, realising how little you actually exercise. It's okay though, I mean, hell, I'm here writing a script in my room alone, telling you how gamer game is good enough for me, so I can't really say anything. Talking of gamey games, the glitches in Paladins are so obvious and stupid, you could see them from the code for Bot Smashes, you know, their possibly cancelled mobile game. Considering for the first five or so games, they throw you into a bot match and say, watch these walk into walls and activate abilities on cooldown for about an hour. Enjoy the Paladins experience! These bot matches don't mean you can't play with your friends though, so that's good. In fact, I didn't notice it until I'd accused them of aimbotting seven times, looked up how bad Paladins kill cams are, with a mix of results, and contemplated why we still play on console. After all that, we finally saw their names, gazed into the stars, and asked, why are we in the mental state to think these kind of things? Gazing into the stars. Hmm. That seems to link to Paladins quite well, considering they can come up with a good idea, or steal it, and then they put it in the game wrong. They definitely didn't steal the Battle Pass from Fortnite. You know, that one game that if you mention it, the second people start screaming, and depending if they're 7 or 50, they can say a range from, I got a victory royale, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm cool, to, I'm suing Fortnite because they corrupted a 5-year-old.